Joseph Garchen. I'm retired, and I really want to spend the rest of my life just, just writing. God's gifted you with a pastor's heart. I don't care what goes down today. I'm voting no, no, no. Your work here on earth is done. She will be our pastor. Our bylaws state that the vote must be unanimous, and I still vote N-O. We were kind of offended by your evaluation of our practices. We need to be able to say that we walked in truth. His dog has terminal cancer. Well, I don't need your sympathy. And I sure don't need you telling me what I ought to know about God. She came all the way to our house to pray for your dog, Dad. God healed Huckleberry. All in agreement? Aye. If Reverend Jenkins decides to pastor again, I'm going wherever she is. I gotta go hide the silverware. Why I choose to spend my morning with you is beyond me. Cause you love me? No. No? No, that's not it. I not think it. it must be because of the tea. The tea. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It is definitely because of the tea. <laughs> Girl, you're not right. You're just not right. Generally speaking, there's only room for one. One. Fruit Loop in a room <laughs> at the same time. One so, smart aleck. Tell me how your meeting at the church went yesterday. Oh, girl, it didn't go like I expected, I can tell you that. Hmm. There was good news and there was bad news. Okay, well, tell me everything. Good news first. Good news. God healed Deacon Hall's dog of cancer. Oh. And the bad news is he healed his heart so that he voted for my implementation as pastor. <gasps> wow, they let the dog vote? Let's review the rules again. <laughs> one Fruit Loop, one Smart Alec per room. I couldn't help myself. I bet you couldn't. <laughs> so tell me, did you accept? I didn't have much choice. Oh, mm -hmm. Maddie, you should have seen the looks on their faces. And then there was your voice in my mind. Two questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is God saying to you? And is he big enough to win a war that was going to mean freedom for his people? So? I said yes. All right, all right. Woohoo! Okay, come on. We've got to get up. We've got to do our happy dance. It's time to celebrate. Let, let, let's hold off on the happy dance stuff until I know I'm actually happy about this thing. No, you get up here right now. Oh, the God of the universe just entrusted you with the care of a household of faith. Entrusted you with his precious seed. Now we're going to dance. I don't care what you say. I am not good. What? <laughs> Once again, I fall so short. The Spirit just said to me that obedience is better than sacrifice, but obedience without joy is no obedience at all. Ouch! Uh, Father, I am so sorry. I will be obedient to your will with joy. Come on, girls, okay. step aside. Okay. It's right. happy dance time. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> it's happy dance time, time before, before the Lord, before the Lord, before the Lord. Before the Lord. It's, it's a happy dance, dance time before the Lord. Call us and let us know how you're doing. All right. Later. I know you're going to miss him, Lamar. But this is an opportunity that he's been waiting for. A producer on a major film? I know, and I'm happy for him. I'm just not happy for me. Things will work out, you'll see. You know, 
I'm next in line for his position. So what? You think what goes around comes around? You think Reverend Jenkins won't give it to you? Remember how mean you've been? She probably won't. That lady came in with change on her mind. Well, the meeting is in an hour. We'll see then. And Mama Scott would have already told her about Deacon Spires. Lamar, I know that look. I've seen it a thousand times. Yeah, you'll probably see it a thousand more, too. Honey, you've got to let it go. You really do, Dad. That lady killed our baby boy. Have you forgotten? Now I have no one to follow me in the ministry. No, I haven't forgotten him. And no, she didn't. Dr. Wyatt did all she knew to do. I'm not quite so sure about that. Reverend Jenkins, is it Dr. Wyatt? Same principle. That lady is going to destroy the life of our church. Mark my word. Lamar. Don't Lamar me. Good morning. I know I'm a little early for the meeting. Oh, that's okay, because I need to speak to you for a few minutes. Okay. I'll leave you two alone. No, no, stay. Reverend Jenkins, this is Gina Nash. Hi. She will be your assistant. An assistant? Wow. Well, I felt like in dealing with Deacon Hall, that would be safety in numbers. <laughs> and believe it or not, I graduated number one in my self-defense class. Therefore, I am now a full-fledged soldier in the army of the Lord. Praise God, hallelujah, and pass the plate. <laughs> Girl, you and I are gonna get along great. <laughs> Reverend Jenkins, we yeah. do have a little situation. Wait a minute. Yep, it's still working, go ahead. Deacon Spires has left to take a job in California. Oh. And Deacon Hall is a little overwhelmed with the loss of his good friend. Uh, yeah. And, might I add, the gain of you. Yikes. All right, Gina Nash, soldier in the army of the Lord, let us prepare for battle. Let's suit up. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about Deacon Hall. He just has a bad bark, but he doesn't really bite. No bite? No. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Come on. Let's get started. We have a lot of things to discuss. Reverend Jenkins, we would like to formally welcome you as our new pastor. Thank you. And we hope that Deacon Spy's departure won't cause you to change your mind about joining us. Not at all. Just means we have another opportunity to do some more growing. Well, I've done enough growing for a while. Thank you. Well, that's too bad because I'm pretty sure we're going to be growing throughout eternity. Thank you. Now see, that's crazy. Do you need a reminder? Uh. Reverend Jenkins, Exactly what did you mean by that? It came from a pretty popular evangelist I heard speak a number of years ago, and I'm telling you, it absolutely changed my way of thinking. What did he say? He talked about having a visitation to heaven and how an angel took him to the throne room. Did you believe him? I did, mainly because, you know, it hit me in my very core. It still does today when I think about it. Then I want to hear about it. He said, once there, that he saw the four living creatures, and they were calling back and forth over the throne. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and is to come. Exactly. And the thing was that they did it without ceasing. So he asked the angel, why did they do it without stopping? And the angel said, because every lap that they made around the throne, God revealed a new aspect of himself forever and ever and ever. Does that not take your breath away? But what does it have to do with growing? Here on earth, when God reveals an aspect of himself, it requires a response. God says he's love, then we have to love. 
God says He's a God of mercy, then we have to extend mercy. It's going to be the same there. And the thing is, learning to respond to Him is the same thing as growing. What an awesome way to spend eternity. Isn't it? Yes. An eternity of learning His depths. Mm. That's talking crazy. I have to use the bathroom.